Yeah, welcome to Austrian Stocks in English presented by Pfeiffinger, the English spoken weekly summary for the Austrian stock market, positioned every Sunday in the mostly German language podcast, audio, CD, in the podcasts Wiener Börse, Sport, Musik und mehr. My name is Christian and I will be later on joined by the absolutely smart Allison. This script is based on our 21st Austria Weekly and Week 5 brought for ATXTR a consolidation on high levels. The index closed slightly better at 7131 points. Best stock in ATX Prime was RHI Magnesita, who entered the index watch list at position 13 when it comes to market cap. News came from Austria Card, Chroma Pharma, IMS Osram, Pira Mobility, Unica. Beifinger, Andritz, CIMO, RBI, AT&S, Austrian Post, Siemens and Contron. And these news are spoken now by the absolutely smart Allison. Thank you, Christian, for calling me absolutely smart. And these were the news of week 5. Monday Austria occurred by resolution of Wiener Börse AG dated January 30th, 2023. 16, 862, 067 existing ordinary bearer shares with a nominal value of 1 euro per share of Austria Kurt Holdings and 1,314, 867 new ordinary bearer shares with a nominal value of 1 euro per share of the company to be issued in the context of the company's share capital increase as a result of a cross-border merger of Informa's transferring company into the company as absorbing company were admitted to trading on the regulated market of the Vienna Stock Exchange. The expected first trading date will be March 27, 2023 or a day around the date. No trading will occur until the trading date. From the trading date, the shares of the company will be traded in the segment prime market of the Vienna Stock Exchange and the segment main market of the Athens Exchange, Athex, in each case under the code ACAG, Eisen, at 0000A325L0. The starting price was set at 13 euros and 42 cents per share by the company's management board. Chroma Pharma, European healthcare acquisition and growth company BV, EHC, a Dutch operators led special purpose acquisition company, and Austrian based Chroma Pharma GmbH, a rapidly growing, profitable and differentiated leader in the fields of minimally invasive aesthetics and reconstructive medicine, today entered into a definitive business combination agreement. Upon closing of the transaction, EHC is expected to be converted into a public company with limited liability named Chromo NV. The transaction values the combined company at an enterprise value of 850 million euros. The transaction is expected to complete in the second quarter of 2023, and the shares of EHC, now as a combined company, will continue to trade on the regulated market of Euronext Amsterdam. Amsosrim, Amsosrim, leader in optical solutions, announced that Alexander Everk will step down as CEO after seven successful years at the helm of the company. He will be succeeded by Alda Camper, whom the supervisory board of Amsosrim has today appointed as chairman of the management board and CEO. Aldo Camper has been CEO of Leona AG, Nuremberg, a global player in energy and data management solutions for the automotive industry, since 2018. Prior, Aldo Camper spent over 15 years in different management positions with Usram, most recently as general manager of the business unit Opto Semiconductors, which recorded significant growth under his leadership. AMS, weekly performance, 11.64%, Tuesday Pira Mobility, with another 17 World Championship titles in 2022, Pira Mobility AG looks back on an outstanding year in motorsports. In both the E1 and GP classes of the Enduro GP Championship, Gazgis crowned itself the winner. Eisen gave Ara underlined a perfect racing season with the title in the Moto3 World Championship. With Manuel Lettenbuckler, KTM secured the world title in the Fim Hard Enduro World Championship. With speed and consistency, brand colleague Tom Weil also decided the MX2 Motocross World Championship in his favor. Augusto Fernandez won the Moto2 World Championship title for KTM in a rousing finale. With two race wins and several podium finishes, the KTM factory racing team secured second place in the MotoGP team standings. The Husqvarna brand can also look back on a successful year. Billy Bolt dominated the FIM Super and Euro World Championship and not only won the title, but also the team standings for Husqvarna. 
Just as successfully as the past year ended, the new year started with the first big success. At the beginning of 2023, Pira Mobility AG secured Dracar title number 20 through Argentinian Kevin Benavides on KTM in Saudi Arabia. Toby Price, KTM, and Skyler House, Husqvarna, completed the podium with second and third places, making for a perfect start to the 2023 motorsport season. Pira Mobility, weekly performance, 2.31%. Unica, Swiss Re Corporate Solutions, the commercial direct risk underwriting arm of Swiss Re, has announced that it will provide its platform Pulse and Network to Unica Group. With Pulse and Network, Swiss Re Corporate Solutions is offering Unica a single online platform to manage and deliver structured international programs. Unica, weekly performance, 0.00, Wednesday Paufinger, in early 2022. Paufinger was awarded a contract by the Koninklijke Nederlands Reading Machappage, KNRM, for 12 custom-built rigid-hulled inflatable boats, RIB, which will assist the organization in their future rescue operations. With the key laying ceremony, Paufinger and the KNRM announced the start of the production phase in Dronridge, the Netherlands, where the robust hull of the first prototype will be produced. Paufinger, weekly performance, 4.93%. Andritz, International Technology Group Andritz has received an order from Klingel Paper and Packaging Group in Nova Campina, Brazil, to supply automated threading systems for paper machines PM1 and PM3 producing various paper packaging grades. The systems will be installed in 2023. Andritz, Weekly Performance, 2.26%, CAMO. Real estate company CA Mobilin expects a negative net property revaluation result of around 274 million euros for the fourth quarter of 2022 to add to the changed market conditions. For the 2022 financial year, the negative net property revaluation result amounts to around 94 million euros. Overall, a positive consolidated net income is expected for the 2022 financial year. CAMO, weekly performance, minus 0.34%. Rafis and Bank International, RBI, RBI reported an consolidated profit of 982 million euros, up 35% year over year, excluding Russia and Belarus as well as gain on sale of the Bulgarian units, 453 million euros. The board will recommend a dividend of up to 0 euros and 80 cents per share from the net profit for financial year 2022. RBI. Weekly performance, minus 9.89%. Thursday at NS, driven by the good development in the first half year, consolidated revenue of leading manufacturer of high-end printed circuit boards and IC substrates at NS improved by 30% to 1 euro, 489 million inches the first three quarters of the financial year 2022-23, PY, 1147 euros million. Adjusted EBITDA is 452 million euros, up 73% on the previous year. After the positive development in the first half of the year, market conditions deteriorated significantly in the third quarter. Depending on how long this market weakness persists, we will react in the short term. However, our long term strategy will remain unaffected, says CEO Andreas Gersten Mayer. The major digitalization and electrification trends remain intact and we have initiated additional cost optimization programs in order to cushion the effects of short-term volatilities, Gersten Mayer comments on the company's perspective. At an S, weekly performance, minus 2.92%. Austrian Post Austrian Post has put its 3,000th electric vehicle into operation. The latest addition to the Yellow Greeny fleet is stationed in Vienna and also marks the start of the implementation of Green Vienna. By 2025, Austrian Post wants to make the German capital completely CO2-free. A Sterichisch Post, weekly performance, 1.98%. Friday Siemens, the supervisory board of Siemens AG Austria appointed Patricia Neumann as chairwoman of the management board of Siemens AG Austria. Patricia Neumann will be appointed on May 1, 2023 for a period of five years. In this function, she succeeds Wolfgang Hessown who this year will reach the age limit for board members in the Siemens Group of 63. Siemens, weekly performance, 0.36%. Contron, IT company Contron AG resolves on a new buyback program. The volume amounts to up to 636,305 shares to be bought back. The buyback program I-2023 is planned to commence on Monday, February 6, 2023, and to last until, and including, 
August 6, 2023 at the latest. Repurchases of shares may be made up to a price cap of €20 Euros per share as well as up to a maximum purchase price ranging 10% above the average contron share price of the last five trading days and etc. Trading, the maximum amount to be utilized by Contron AG under the buyback program I-2023 is €10 million. Euros. Contron, weekly performance, 2.13%. And now bye-bye from Allison. And Christian, we wish you a great week. Hear you next Sunday. Oh